Welcome back to my Texas yard, everybody. It is hot. In Central Texas here, it's about 104 to 108 all week long. It's the middle of June, and I'm gonna share with you some of the herbs that have been basically bulletproof uh, for a couple of years now, and I haven't been able to kill them no matter how much I've neglected them. Now, number one and number two for the toughest herbs in the garden, probably gonna be split between something like oregano and mint, and that could be spearmint, peppermint, uh, orange creamsicle mint, which I have over there, first time growing that. Uh, but without a doubt, maybe number one has got to be oregano. Now this is a classic, like Italian style oregano. I do have a spicy oregano, and both of these have been very hardy. This plant actually started over there in that corner, but I had so much oregano growing, I just started throwing mulch on top of it in a compost pile. And then this oregano plant has slowly crawl its way this direction. <laughs> you can see it just pops up through the compost. Uh, I'll put a walking path over it. I'll start walking on it and it just grows out the sides. Doesn't matter the heat, doesn't matter the cold temperatures. This went through the freeze a couple years ago. Really, really hardy plant. Now number two that's basically indestructible here in Central Texas is spearmint. This has been growing for a few years now. I actually completely dug it up and if you leave just one little piece of root in the ground you're going to have more <laughs> spearmint growing up. Um, so I did, this, this whole area is just taken over by it so I dug it all up but I really really like spearmint for the tea. I'll make, uh, I'll just get some HEB um, organic tea bags and I'll prick off sprig about this big for about four tea bags drop it in there with your tea bags it makes the best sweet tea you've ever had i guarantee it now the next one up this might be one of my favorite um, this is lemon thyme and as you can see i've already piled a big pile of mulch right here right in the middle of this ginormous lemon thyme plant and the reason i did that was it was looking a little old it needed some new growth so there's nothing like you know invigorating a plant with either pruning or damaging it or covering it up uh, that really gets the juices flowing <laughs> on these herbs. So I just dumped the whole bag of mulch right here. I've got this beautiful young thyme coming up. This is lemon thyme over here. I have a, a classic thyme over there that's, they've both been bulletproof. So number three, thyme. Now coming in at number four, and I actually forgot about this <laughs> in my list until I was sitting here next to my thyme, uh, is this rosemary. This rosemary is one of the first plants I put out here. Uh, it's got some great young, healthy um, rosemary shoots coming up and you can see it's got some damage this is all this brown right here is actually from the winter storm uh, actually this past winter we had a little bit of a snow and it damaged some of it but you can see it's coming back really really strong so number four rosemary now a bonus tip here if you have potatoes i'm going to tell you real quick how to make the best potatoes with these herbs you get some rosemary and you get some lemon thyme make sure it's lemon thyme and you dice these up Mix them up with butter, put them on your potatoes and stick them in the oven. That is the best little potatoes, little fingerling red potatoes, new potatoes. Oh, it is, it is wonderful. So, so as I'm walking through my garden, I realize that I can't count. Um, there's a lot more than five. Uh, I forgot completely about cilantro. And the reason I forgot about it is because I never have to do anything with it. It comes back every year uh, on its own all over the garden. There's probably cilantro out there in that field for my garden. Here's a young one. It's going to flower. Here's one that's uh, more mature and actually have these brown seeds. And now funny thing is, little tips on there are a little information about this cilantro. When cilantro is young and green, you can use it for salsas and the seeds actually have sort of a citrus flavor when they're green. Once they dry, the little seed pods become brown and it's called coriander. Totally different um, flavor profile. All right, so under here next to my apple tree, this is the spicy um, oregano I was telling you about, and this is sage. So this would be number, was supposed to be number five, but it's actually more like six or seven on the list. <laughs> but sage has done really well. Now I will point out that it is directly under this apple tree for shade. So I don't know how it would do in full sun, um, but under this, underneath this apple tree, this is going on probably year three, three and a half. And you'll notice a lot of the dead sticks in there and little twigs. That is the sage plant that was originally put in. The freeze of whenever that really bad freeze was a couple years ago, it killed it. But the sage came back a little bit to the side here. So this is still the same sage plant I haven't replanted. Um, been very hardy. 
underneath this shade tree. All right, this one right here, I wasn't gonna put on the list, but it just occurred to me that I haven't really been babying this either, and it survived about three years here, including some really hard freezes, and that's chives. Uh, I've watered them today, so they're a little bit, they were a little bit droopy, so I watered them, and that water kind of laid them over, but they're coming back for the day. But these have been here probably about three years. They have completely died and then came back. Um, so it might not be as bulletproof as something like oregano or mint, but definitely has been doing well here in full sun in central Texas. So those are my top producing herbs that have been basically bulletproof for me for many years here in central Texas. Now, if you have an herb that has done really, really well or is really hardy, or maybe one that you just really like that you're doing something special with, like a tea or a tincture, put it in the comments. I would love to, to know about the herbs that are working for you. I'm always looking to expand the herbs in my garden. So it's a million degrees out here. I'm gonna cut it short, but if you like gardening in Central Texas and you like clean, organic food, be sure to hit that subscription button, hit that like button, and we'll see you in the next one.